welcome to Spice and Pens. If you like our channel, please hit subscribe and thank you for watching. Hi and welcome to Spice and Pens. Today I'm going to show you how to make this dish known as Pai Gu Wang or Pork Ribs, uh, Pork Rib Kings. Um, I'm showing you how to marinate the um, pork first. Okay, you can either use, for me I'm using pork chop over here, approximately about 600 gram. You can use uh, ribs if you want to or just a lean meat, it's all up to you, seriously. Okay, what I do is actually I, um, with the bag of cleaver or with a, uh, those uh, hammer that you use to tenderize meat, you just heat it up, spread it up, and then cut it into bite-sized pieces, okay? Uh, I'll just introduce to you the ingredient that I have over here. Uh, approximately one and a half a uh, teaspoon of this uh, uh, baking soda. Okay, oh, we have oyster sauce over here, one tablespoon. Half a teaspoon of uh, salt, half a teaspoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of uh, five spice powder or wuxiang fen, half a teaspoon of uh, curry powder. Okay, this sesame seed oil, one tablespoon, uh, one teaspoon, sorry. Over here, I have uh, one tablespoon of soy sauce. One uh, tablespoon of this uh, hua diao jiu, as well as uh, three heaps of uh, or three tablespoon of this uh, corn flour, and one egg and pepper. Okay, so I'm just going to marinate all this together. So let's get a mixing bowl and uh, put everything in. First, we put in the eggs. You can just use the egg white if you want to, but uh, I don't want to waste the yolk itself, so I'm going to use it also. Put it well. Put in the rest of the ingredient. Okay, everything just chuck it in. Now this is just for marinating the, uh, the the pork only. Later, I mean, I'll show you the ingredients needed to make the sauce for the uh, pai kuang or the pork ribs king, literally. A few dashes of pork, pepper. Now, if you want to add in ginger juice, you can also. Um, if you don't want to use water, you can use that pork ginger juice. So this is basically to kill the pocky, pocky um, taste of the of the of the uh, pork itself. Actually, the baking powder goes into. Don't put the flour in first. Uh, let's just mix this up first. Okay, mix this up well. Okay, now we add in the pork. Okay, what we do now is I like to use my hand to actually mix them up together. So we do this first. Make sure every bit of pieces of the pork has a taste of the marinade inside there. Okay, this is what we want. Then we add in the corn flour. And same thing also, use your hand to actually uh, mix it up. Now after mixing this up, this has to be in the fridge for at least 2 hours. Uh, if you have more time to spare, you can prepare this overnight or so that it would even taste better. The marinade actually goes into this, everything inside it. This can be used as a base or, or rather uh, the, the, the how you marinate actually pork ribs for almost any kind of pork rib dishes including tang chu pai ku, uh, spare ribs, um, which what we are doing now, uh, the pork ribs king which is a pai ku one or any other dishes uh, with uh, the salted egg and etc etc right. Basically it's, it's the same marinade itself. Okay, so this is what we want. We don't want to see too much of a flour out. And when we fry this, this could be uh, both juicy and crispy on the outside. Okay, so we leave this in the fridge for approximately two hours before we fry this and then we prepare the sauce for the pie gu. So the pork has been marinating for approximately about two hours already. So now I'm ready to fry them. Okay, um, frying medium high on the heat itself or medium heat will be fine also. I'm going to fry them in batches, in two batches actually. It smells fantastic. I'm going to fry them two times, so now it's done. Let me just take them out first. And then drain off the oil. So that's how beautiful the color is. I'm going to turn up the heat to high and when the heat is very hot, I'm going to put the, all the pork in together again. Alright, this is to make sure that the uh, pork is not so soggy with the, all the oil inside. Now that the oil is uh, 
pretty very hot. So we're gonna put everything in. Just a couple of minutes on this is okay. 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 So as you see that it's a golden pink, golden brown, which means it's done already. So let's just cook this up and start to prepare the sauce for the spirits. I wonder if it's okay. Okay, um, now that we've done with the pork, I'm going to introduce you to the ingredient needed for making the sauce. I have over here 2 tablespoons of uh, plum sauce, 1 tablespoon of chili sauce, 2 tablespoons of ketchup, 2 tablespoons of A1 sauce, 2 tablespoons of HP sauce, 1 tablespoon of uh, sugar, and some cornstarch over here. I have with me over here also approximately about 2 to 3 cloves of garlic chopped. Now we put all the liquids together, so I'm going to add in approximately about one cup of water over here. The sugar, lamb sauce, chili sauce, tomato sauce, the HP sauce, the one sauce, and the cornstarch. Just pour everything inside here. Mix it well. Okay. Don't worry if it's too liquid right now because we are going to cook this and reduce it. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's go over to the one. What we're going to do, do now is actually fry the garlic. Next up, we're going to add in the solution we need just now and reduce this liquid. You get to use oil if you want to. Before you put the pork in, I suggest you give it a little taste to see whether it's too tangy or too sweet, and so you can do some adjustment before you actually uh, put the pork in. Okay, you can add a little bit of sugar if you want to. Too tangy for you. The rice is a little bit too sour for her. Not the I would like to try it again. Okay. So now I'll add in the pork ribs or, or pork and just show them around. It's just a short while because I still want to keep the crunchiness of the pork actually. So I'm done. So time to dish it up. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my version of. Hai Ku Wang or Pop Ricks King. Hope you like our dish. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.